mothers at the podium glance in unison toward the rows of expectant six-year-old girls. Who comes to these woods? <laughs> One of the mothers asked. We do! The adults around me laughed uproariously. I squinted my eyes against the pane. <laughs> Let us begin. Ariana Adenfeldt. A curly-haired toy doll, seemingly no bigger than a school lunchbox, hopped off her chair and landed, landed expertly on the wooden floor. She glanced nervously around at the adults, took a deep breath. She squared her shoulders with resolve and then spun in wild, looping circles toward the center of the room. Her mocking bird voice chirped into the still air. Twist me and turn me and show me the elf. <laughs> She stopped suddenly and looked down at the faded old floorboards. Her body froze. She scanned quickly left and right, and then spied the ivy-encircled mirror a few feet away. She executed one more loop in silence, twirling right up to the edge of the ivy. I look in the water and I see... Buster! Her voice raised two octaves and 20 decibels on the last word. The parents alongside me and the mothers at the podium applauded with appropriate enthusiasm. Their prayer position hands pistoned together happily. Thank you, Ariana. Ariana walked to the podium where one of the mothers adorned the young girl's chocolate-covered vest with a tiny golden elf. Ariana hopped once with glee and ran back toward her chair. She leapt, turning 180 degrees mid-air, landing perfectly straight back, legs sticking out parallel to the floor. One of the podium mothers consulted her list. Abby rode Braunschweiger. Twisting and turning, Abby rode spun to the mirror. I look in the water and I see my cow! Her position hands piston back and forth. Embers glow at the ridge. I look in the water and I see my cow! Her position hands piston back and forth. Mushroom Bree Bunston. Twist me and turn me and show me the elf. I look in the water and see my cow! The applause and the spinning children made me feel mildly seasick. <laughs> what might have happened if I would have sampled the other drinks Walter had offered me? What if I'd had one of those drinks with, with the extracted essence of those vitamin-laden fruits? Maybe one of those juice drinks would have given me something I needed. Unlike that ritual with the emerald, the ritual with the emerald drink and the chilled water that seemed to have extracted the essence out of me. Suddenly it was my niece's turn. Twist me and turn me and show me the L. In my opinion, she spun more expertly than the others. <laughs> her final twist and turn ended with her precisely over the make-believe pond in the woods. I look in the water and I see myself. <laughs> I slap my hands together with great abandon, not minding the hammer blows each hand claps into my aching brain. I leapt to my feet and snapped away with a digital camera. After the event, I walked over to the mirror in the center of the floor and looked down. Chameleon eyes ringed with bruised bags of pale skin looked back at me. What I saw in the water was myself, I suppose. Though it wasn't bringing me any kind of epiphany or even consolation. I watched the new brownies as they stood laughing with each other while eating slices of melon and sipping juice from boxes. They were radiantly happy. I felt a little better watching the young girls basking in an early triumph. Their promise laid in futures ahead of them. I hoped that they had many more days, and for their sake, I hope that absence was made illegal again by the time they turned 21. <laughs>